happy vlog week, new vlog week. Um, I don't know why I'm so energetic on a Monday because I didn't get to sleep till about half two last night. Insomnia problems. Um, <coughs> I get mild insomnia every so often. Um, the worst I've ever had is getting to sleep at half five in the morning when my alarm goes off at six. Luckily it wasn't that bad last night. I'm a bit peed off because I could have actually just stayed up an extra half an hour and um, live watched Game of Thrones instead of having to come home and stream it tonight but oh well but it's monday morning it is absolutely miserable outside so hair update still looking very greenish definitely need to do something with it this week because it's looking a bit green i've not washed it since friday um it seems to since i dyed it it seems to have got greasy quickly but I'm lazy and I can never be bothered washing my hair. Nice loop colour today though. My camera's like, nope, it's Monday morning, not focusing. But it's um, LA Splash Love Struck. I quite like it. It's a bit dark and a bit intense for Monday and for work, but... Go bold or go home, right? I've got so much to do at work today because my computer was being a bitch on Friday and kept on losing all my work in Excel. Twice it lost everything. Sort your act out, camera. Me just... Because I've pressed the screen, it now thinks it needs to focus in that area and I don't know how to get it off because... Cameron Newby, not that much planned this week for you all. I am um, going tomorrow night to an event with a car insurance company and it's um, like focusing on your reaction times when you drive and drink, drink and drive. I don't drive. Um, I got up to like test standard and then I bought my house and had to stop because I couldn't afford lessons anymore. Uh, but that was about six years ago, so probably forgotten how to drive but yeah it'll be fun to see other people who do drive and and what their reaction time is and it'll be fun for me to drink and play like a game because it's a, a simulator yes so we're just like um trying to think of a car game then but i can't so but yeah i'm off to that tomorrow night and i think that's about it um, Saturday I'm redecorating my grandma's, sprucing it up a little bit for another campaign for the blog and that's about it. Yes, not much planned, quiet week, means I can finally catch up on everything. But that's about it. I'm going to go now because um, I'm going to play with Percy for 10 minutes before I go to work and leave him for the day. I don't want to go to work. Bye. Hi guys, so I've just got back from work. It's about 26. I jumped out of work early so I could come and see Percival, who's running amok in the house as usual. Um, so I'm quickly going to try tie my hair back in one of those little half up, half down 90s kind of styles. Shove some more makeup on, make some powder, <clears throat> and then go to the drinky, drivey simulator thing that's on this evening. You've been fed, stop crying. Seriously, it's like having a child. Wow, this lighting's not brilliant. Um, so I'm gonna go give Percy a cuddle so he'll stop crying. Um, and then go. So um, I will take you along with me and I will see you all when I'm there.
So we've been playing drunk simulators, so you play the video game, um, which actually looks like a little car, and then you put drunk goggles on varying different degrees and see how well you drive. Apparently, I'm the worst driver when I'm sober. <laughs> I think it's because I've had more practice, not because I drive well whilst drunk. Never drink and drive kids. But yeah, it's so much fun and having such a good laugh. There's also memory tests as well, um, numeracy tests and word tests and apparently I am really good with words whilst drunk and really good with um, numbers. Not so good at memory, which I'm not when sober, so. back from the LV reactions night with talented talkers it was so much fun um, there was like simulator games set up where you were drinking no you weren't you were driving and you put different different strength of beer goggles on to simulate drink driving and how your reactions are slower and whatnot um, kind of as the night went on I'd had a few beers and I obviously was wearing the beer goggles but my times were getting better on the machine but that's because I was playing it more and I like cracking the code as such um but I did notice that the higher the strength of beer goggles that I was wearing the faster that I was going I don't know if you can hear the cat you can now um <laughs> But yeah, the faster I was going in speed, but not realising it, I thought I was still doing the same kind of 60 miles per hour that I was doing on the the sober test. But I wasn't, I was doing about 75, 80. So it just goes to show you that your reaction times are slower and you're going faster than you actually think you are. If I could have seen the speedometer better through the blurry goggles I probably would have realised sooner that I was speeding as such but yeah it was such a fun night um not only did we do the driving thing there was also like simulators for sorry just pulling my hair out there was also um like memory tests and word tests and things like that the camera's going out of focus so like memory tests and stuff and turns out my memory is let me sort the zoom out sorry issue with the cat um <laughs> yes so it turns out my memory is shocking at the best of times and even worse whilst drunk however my words are better when i'm drunk and my numeracy is better whilst drunk I think that's probably just because I'd played the game a couple of times by then. Although I am good with words. I do like to think English is my better subject. Probably not so much spoken English as we can tell. Um, but there was a little bit of food left over after the event. So um, the guys kindly let me take some chicken for Percy. And he's had some chicken and now he thinks he rules the roost of the house and he is going actual stir crazy he's destroyed his um cage I say cage i mean like the bas cat basket you take them to the vets in they leave it out with um a blanket in him for him so he gets used to it so when he has to travel and go to the vets and my aunties and stuff he's not so scared of it I don't know if you can hear him. He's like, give me more of that chicken. 
Now he's climbing in his litter box. Not his litter box, his bag of litter. He's going crazy for the chicken. He really likes it. I'm actually going vegetarian next week. Um, I don't really eat a lot of meat anyway because I live alone and it's expensive. But I'm going veggie next week so he's going to get a sharp shock when he realises there is not an endless supply of turkey slices and chicken slices for him. Uh, what? He's climbing my curtains now. I'm going to have to go before he ruins my house. Also, on Saturday I was supposed to be doing over my grand's house. I've had to change it because I'm getting my hair did at the new Rush salon, Rush Hair and Beauty salon in York that's opening up on the Saturday. I'm going to get my um, grey done professionally so it should actually look like what I want it to look like. You calm down some. Hey, look who's that? It's your internet friends. Internet friends! So yes, so I'm going to be doing my grandma's out on the Sunday. Which I was actually going to film on the Sunday. But I can't now. Random acts of kindness are more important than YouTube's. Anyway, I'm going to go and see it to Percival. See what he's up to. See, see what he's destroyed in my house. So I will... Probably not check in tomorrow because I'm at Weight Watchers and then I've got some editing to do. So it'll probably be Thursday now that I check in. But um, see you all on Thursday. Hi guys. So it's Saturday morning. Um, I haven't vlogged much during the week because I wanted to keep time and space for today's vlog because today I'm after to get my hair did. I'm going to the new Rush salon, hair salon in York. Um, which is opening today so I'm going to take you along with me and um, they're going to attempt to get my hair how I want it so grey um, as you can tell um, I'd not actually washed it since I dyed it because I tend to wash my hair about once every week to a week and a half because I'm lazy and I've trained it not to get too bad but I've washed it this morning and just dried it off slightly and the colour has seemed to have just gone brown now um, there were little patches of grey in it, but that all seems to have gone. And this has got a bit kinky. Oh, God, look at how dry it looks. I've not put anything on it because um, I didn't want to if they're going to colour it. So that's why it looks all dry and crusty. So I'm going to take you along with me for the day. Um, I need to get the train to York, so I'm going to go to the train station soon. Um, it's really sunny outside, and I have no sunny clothes. Um what else and today is kind of the last day that i will be eating meat um i might have a little bit tomorrow but so tonight i think i'm gonna order oh my hands like really shaking i'm gonna order an almost famous or a reds true barbecue from deliveroo because i need like one final farewell to me eating I've not had a burger in ages because I've been on Weight Watchers. So, if I'd have had one like last week, it wouldn't bother me. But, because I've not had one for so long. I mostly eat a lot of corn anyway. If you go in my freezer, there is, is currently one chicken breast and the rest is like corn mince, corn chicken, corn sausages, corn meals, a lot of corn. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, um, so I will see you um, probably afterwards. I won't really talk much whilst I'm there on the vlog, I'll just film. So I will see you afterwards with, hopefully, grey hair that looks something like this photo that I promise I will insert. Promise. Insert the photo, Hayley. Do it. Right, I will see you later, guys.
guys, so I'm just back in Leeds um, with my fresh hair. Can you see? Sorry, checking in the lift to see if the lighting makes a difference. But I will check in as soon as I get into the house. Hi guys, so I'm back. Had my hair did. As you can see, it's so pretty. It's also not grey. Um, I went and I spoke to the lady and she was absolutely lovely. Um, so I went to Rush Hair Salon in York. It was just opening today. Um, yes, the lady was absolutely lovely. But when I said I wanted it grey, she very, very kindly told me it would ruin my hair. We'd have to bleach it a few more times. Um, I'm all sweaty. I don't know why. We'd have to bleach it a few more times and it would just ruin the ends of my hair. So if I did want to go grey, I'd have to chop a lot off and bleach it a lot. I didn't really want to do that. Um, so what she did was she pulled the bleach up a little bit higher in some places. So if you can see like here at the front and like higher up here so it wasn't so block at the ends. Um, and she bleached the rest of it. Although there was bleach on it already, it was to lift the terrible box colour that was on it, which had gone green this morning after I'd washed my hair. Um, and then she put a copper toner on it, um, so it wasn't like blonde and it's a bit orangey and warmer, um, but orangey in a nice way, in a copper way that I wanted. Um, I think she's got a bit glossy, um, not too sure. I don't know why I'm so sweaty got a taxi back home but yes I am seriously in love with the colour it's so cute love it so thank you Rush Salon um, and I've actually booked in for the end of July to go get the toner put back on um, and possibly discuss going rose gold because when she said she couldn't do the grey I was like, well, can I go copper or rose gold then? And she said copper would be easiest to get. Um, rose gold would also entail bleaching it again. But bleaching it a couple of times, sorry. Percy, if I hear you scratching that city, stop it. I'll smack. But yeah, I really, really like it. It was curled as well, but because of the heat and the travel on the train, um, it's gone. But... Also, the lady kind of convinced me to get it cut. Not now. <laughs> I need to work up to that. But yeah, um, I'm thinking... Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm thinking of getting it about that much cut off. So getting it cut to about just top of my boob. I think I'm getting a bit too old for long, ridiculous long hair. Um, I'm nearing 30 now. I should be getting a little old lady cut. But yes, really like it. Um, I'm going veggie tomorrow, so tonight I'm going to order a Reds um, fire delivery and have my final burger, meat burger. So sad times. To celebrate my new vegetarianism, I have also been and bought a little bottle of Prosecco. It's only Diddy, it's about the size of my head. Don't you dare even think about jumping on me. Come on then. Come there. Don't be getting all pissy with me. Don't be getting pissed off with me. He's not happy because when I came in I went for a wee before feeding him. Does anybody else have cats? And like you can't even go to the toilet in peace without them like... I can't clo close the toilet. I can't. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, you've probably scratched on my top. I can't close the toilet door because as soon as I do, he like scratches on it. So if I need to pee, I have to pee with him watching me, which is kind of freaky. Yes. Right, I'm going to go. He's literally just clawed his way up me. Percival, that wasn't very nice. Percival. What? He's like, don't go home on me. Um, so yeah, a company paid me £100 um, to do like a kind act um, for an elderly person. So I'm going to make over my grandma's bedroom. Um, so like new curtains and bedding and stuff. So I'm going to go pick that stuff up from Asda. And then we're going to go up and do that. Then we're going to go back to my mum's house for Sunday dinner because it's Father's Day. 
and um, yes, I'm hoping she's made homemade Yorkshire puddings. Um, also sorry, also sorry for um, Percy showing you his balls and his bum. Bud, little budster, look at the size of you, big fat head. Oh, look at him, paws, <laughs> massive. Little buddy, little big fat baby belly. <laughs> Hi, so it's Sunday night, and I'm just about to start editing this vlog, so I thought I'd better check in um, one last time. So I went to my grandma's today, we did out her bedroom, there will be, um, I say we did out her bedroom, we didn't put furniture in or anything, just like curtains and whatnot. But, um, try and get this to focus and light up a bit better. <coughs> but yeah, I did that, I went to my mum's, had some dinner, uh, then came home and finished watching Orange is the New Black. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, um, because I know not everyone binge watches things like I do. <laughs> It started on Friday night and I've just finished. Um, I really should get out more. But yeah, it's like really disturbing. I'm not sure if you guys have watched it um, this season so far, but it's 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 bad. There's a lot of like power play. There's so many sad scenes. Um, however, I think they've handled like the mental health part of it really, really well. Um, if you know some of the characters like Crazy Eyes and um, Lolly, then you'll know that they have mental health issues but they've handled them really really well this season um but yeah you'll watch it and you'll find out or if you don't watch it then you won't know what the hell i'm waffling on about um uh, i'm gonna go now because i'm gonna start editing the vlog um and get a shower and everything like that so i hope you've had a fabulous week and i hope you have a fabulous week coming up um and i shall see you again next week i don't really have much planned next week um which is strange. Quiet week. But yeah, we'll see. Something might happen, hopefully. And if this kid doesn't stop screaming outside my window, I'm going to throw something at her. Not a very child-friendly person. Um, and she's been out there screaming all afternoon since I've gotten back. But anyway, I'm going to go. Have a fabulous week. Um, thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, um, thumbs up, which I think is the same as like. So yeah. Do whatever you want. Um, have a great week, guys. Bye.